What's up you players, it's Total Master, and this is a follow-up video to what we had yesterday. Yesterday we, I uploaded a video where I rated all of the vanilla factions in Medieval 2 Total War. And today we're gonna rate uh, factions from each separate uh, expansions. So we're gonna start off with the Americas. Uh, the Apaches, I think they are good. Um, I think the thing that separates them from the rest, well, from not the, all of the rest, but from most of the rest, is that they can get cavalry. Uh, I think gunpowder as well, not sure, but I'm pretty sure they can get, uh, yeah, they can get gunpowder as well. And what is more importantly, it is the cavalry, because cavalry is the king of medieval 2, and they can get it, and most of the other factions cannot. Um, Aztecs, I'll put them into average. I think they're quite interesting. They had cool. They have cool units. Obviously, they're one of the most known uh, tribes, so that's kind of you know gives them some extra bonus, I guess, because you know they're also part of the main game, so vanilla game. So you know they're kind of more known for that, I guess. Um, nothing too special. They're just whatever, solid, average. Um, Chichimex. <clears throat> uh, I think I'll put them uh, in good tier. Because they can get the same thing as Apaches, they can get uh, gunpowder, and they can also get uh, cavalry, and that is, as I said, extremely important. These two factions are quite similar, uh, so yeah. Um, Mayans, they're kind of interesting. Again, you know, everyone kind of knows the Mayans from from history. Um, I think that like probably Aztecs, Mayans, and maybe I guess the Incas are more the most interesting factions, uh, historically wise, from what people actually know and what people will actually you know care about I guess they have but just like whatever um, units so and they're fine I guess uh, Spain for sure goes into the best tier they are really fucking OP uh, their units are just that much better than everything else you can just steamroll everything and then we have Tarascans they're just kind of bad they're not particularly interesting you know, the roster is not that great so I don't really find them that good and Laxcalans are pretty much the same if you ask me uh, they're just kind of meh and they don't have the interesting background of perhaps the Aztecs or the Mayans, so that's that's how I do it, I think. Spain is the best. Obviously, I could also maybe like put England and France in, but they're not really playable. So I mean, I guess I could play them, like put them like here, like meme slash unplayable. But <clears throat> basically, I think this is what I think for America. So let's put everyone back down here, and we move on to Britannia. Uh, I've got England here. So, we're gonna start over the Baron's Alliance. Obviously, not really playable, so I'm just gonna put it over here, if I even. Um, obviously, you know, when 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 the English separate, then this happens, so whatever. Uh, anyways, moving on to Ireland. I think Ireland are quite decent. I'll put them in the good tier. Uh, because they have a pretty easy job of just, just getting rid of their, you know, the Irish. Uh, no, not the Irish. Like, getting rid of the English. On the on their island, so when they can do that, it's pretty simple for them to uh, for them to fight forward. So I think they have a very simple job of you know establishing their empire soon and then just taking over the rest. So I think they're pretty good. Uh, Norway, I think they're like kind of average. They don't have the best cavalry, obviously. They don't really have good settlements at the start, maybe Castle Town, and they kind of have to, they're kind of separated as well, which is not great, they have some weird islands up there in the north that is, are not really that good to take, so I think they're kind of average, I think Scotland goes into average as well, they have, they can fight England and or Norway at the same time pretty much, so they're kind of squished in between, uh, obviously they're pretty cool as a faction, um, Yep, I think I'll put them like that. I think uh, Wales also probably goes into average. Um, they kind of have a simple, I mean, not a simple job, but the idea is that you get rid of the England, but of course it's much harder to get rid of the mainland England for them as it is for Irish to just, you know, take over the Irish Isle. So I think Wales is kind of average. Uh, and then England is just probably the best. Obviously they have some problems with the public order, but even if you like lose something to public order, you just get it back instantly. And you're just so fucking overpowered, it's not even funny. Um, I don't think there's a bad faction in this uh, in this uh, expansion. I think this is pretty, uh, like pretty, pretty fair. I guess this guy, I don't know, they're not really playable, so I guess I'll just put it in here. But yeah, England, I think the best. Ireland has a pretty decent job, and these three are like still pretty decent uh, factions, you know, nothing too bad, but I would say they have a bit of a harder job playing than perhaps the Irish. 
Uh, anyways, we move on to the Crusades. Obviously, Venice could potentially also be involved here, right? Um, maybe the Mongols as well, but not really. I'm just going to put them out. So, Antioch. I think I'll just put them into average tier. Uh, you cannot get Crusades here, if I'm not mistaken. They have a decent unit roster, to be completely honest. You do get some good reinforcements. But I think you're kind of squished between, like even like Jerusalem, who's supposed to be your ally, most of the time will just stack you. You also might have problems with Byzantium, and obviously your main enemies are the Turks, and you know, it's like, whatever, average, I think. Byzantium, I think, goes into the good tier. Uh, they're pretty decent. They have only one enemy, I guess, uh, later the, the, Ven the Venetians come as well, but I think the Venetians are just really easily to be defeated. So you have very good provinces. Um, your main first enemy are the Turks and then perhaps Antioch, but they're both on the same side, so it's not that big of a problem. You just keep a big garrison in Constantinople before the Venetians come and you're like completely chill. I think they're a good faction. Um, I think Egypt goes in the best here. I'm pretty sure they have access to Jihad, if I'm not mistaken, which as I said in the previous video, it's extremely fucking OP. And you can just steamroll everything. You're pretty safe uh, because you're just gonna fight the Jerusalem at the start. Um, so yeah, next one, talking about Jerusalem, Jerusalem goes into average, they have similar problems and benefits as the Antioch, pretty good roster to be honest, but you don't get Crusades, um, you are kind of squished between, uh, I think like Jerusalem is probably better than Antioch though, uh, maybe this one, this one I'll actually put left to right if that matters, then the first two ones that doesn't, didn't matter, but I think in this one it actually matters, I think Jerusalem is better than Antioch, uh, but yeah. Because you have like kind of one less enemy, I guess. Like, because you know, Antioch will turn you. It's just how it is. Uh, and then you kind of have to fight Egypt most of the time. Sometimes the Turks will also come, but it's not as as often. So I think Jerusalem is better than Antioch, but still kind of average. The Turks, I either put them here as the best or over here as good. They have pretty decent set, a lot of settlements at the start. Uh, they are not. They're kind of separated though, which is kind of. Not the greatest, but I think just because they had Jihad, I also just have to put them in the best tier. Behind, uh, behind what's it called, uh, 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 Egypt, for sure. They are worse than Egypt, but they're still pretty decent. That is that, like, the Jihad is just fucking overpowered, so it's like, whatever. Uh, okay. Put these guys out now, and we have one more. Uh, this one is gonna be interesting. Like, this one... The Teutonic one is kind of weird, I think, because there's like so many different things happening. But yeah, I think Denmark. Mm, I have to think about how I'll put the others also. I think okay, I think I'll do it like this. I think Denmark is ah fuck it. I'm gonna put them to good. I think Denmark is a good faction. They're mm, they have like two fa so two settlements also in the like uh, in the east side of the, in the mainland. Obviously, most of them are just for in the like modern day in Denmark and then I guess kind of Scandinavia. I think they have decent units for Autoresolve, for Manual is like meh, they don't have the best cavalry but I think they're still a pretty good faction because they have a good starting position. And yeah, I'll put it like that. Uh, after that we have the HRE. HRE I will probably put in good as well. Mm, they have a good starting position. Obviously, the units are pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot about the starting position, I think. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just do it like that. Lithuania. I think Lithuania is probably bad. Their units are kind of meh. Our resolve is completely shit. So you have to fight pretty much every battle. Obviously, your missile units are not the bad, not the worst. So you can do still some damage. Especially, like, the horse missile stuff. Uh, but I just don't like them to be honest. They're kind of boring. They're squished between Teutonic Order uh, and and some other factions and Novgorod, I guess, as well. And some, no, not Novgorod. Sorry, uh, but mainly between the Teutonic Order. The Teutonic Order is just that good that it's just annoying to play with them. Um, Mongols. I just started a campaign as Mongols. They're pretty fucking much unplayable because of the fact that they they cannot ever convert any anything to Muslimism. To Muslim, to Muslimism? Is it called Muslimism? I don't know how the fuck it's called. And basically, they cannot convert the populace to being Muslim because they have no access to priests, 
and that is just so fucking annoying to have every single settlement be really fucking mad at you all the time. Uh, so yeah, I just started a Mongo campaign in Teutonic, and I think I'm gonna quit because it's just boring. Uh, so yeah, um, Novgorod. I think it's pretty good. Again, solid starting position. You have pretty good units, decent roster. Um, you're pretty rich, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So they're pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Poland, I think, goes into average. They're kind of squares between HRE, Teutonic, and to some extent Lithuania, you could say, and to some extent Mongols as well. I find their units to be not that bad. I think their units are kind of good, but just the starting position is kind of shit. Uh, they have some good regions, to be honest, so it's not that bad, but I think they're just average. And then Teutonic Order just goes to the best. Obviously, starting position, not the best, you're surrounded, but your units are just so fucking good. And to be honest, they, their coolishness factor, like the Ritterbrüder, they're just so fucking cool that it just, it just gives them automatic spot as the best faction. I think it's impossible to not put these guys as first. I know they don't have the best starting position, and I like use that argument for the rest of the, the, the factions, but these guys are just so fucking cool that you just cannot put them anywhere else, if you ask me. Uh... So yeah, this completes my tier list, I think. Now, if I'm, it, the, the thing is, like, it is impossible to kind of combine them all together because if I were to combine them all together, all together, like all of the fucking uh, America's factions, except for uh, for maybe Spain, would be in pretty much unplayable. Maybe I put these two in bad, but like whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I made a separate one for each one. So hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. You can obviously, uh, you know, share your comments down below what you think on these four expansions. What is good? What do you agree with? What do you think uh, you disagree with? And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a nice day. And until next time, fuck off.